Scott, the Rays have been hitting the long ball well as of late. They've hit 18 home runs in their last eight games. The problem, though, taking advantage of those smaller opportunities. They were two of 18 with runners in scoring position up in Seattle. And while Kevin Cass says, yeah, that's a concern, he's not stressing that too much to the players just yet. Uh, I don't know how much you can stress it. I mean, look, we'll take the long ball home runs, but we also know as a, as a group we've got to be able to manufacture runs that we're going to hit some lulls where we're not scoring runs via the home run. And, um, you know, quality at bats, somebody coming up clutch with just a, you know, a ground ball to center or a line drive to right, whatever it is, uh, the guys know that. We'll take all the home runs we can get, but there are going to be given nights where we're just not going to be able to find that home run, so we got to do it another way. We need to get on track and kind of keep the line moving a little bit better, whether it's home runs or hits. We're, we're trying to clump a couple hot hitters together and, and that, that will start scoring runs in, in many different ways. A couple of other notes for you. Logan Forsyth will not start tonight's game against the A's, but he could be available to come off the bench. He's still dealing with some after effects of being hit by the, that pitch earlier on in the week. Jake Odorizzi on the mound. Seven starts, has one decision. Hopefully he gets some run support from his teammates tonight at the Trop. Scott?